uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing that actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. Yeah. Okay, he came so out I some years ago. Why do you say, James? He, I'll bring he, you he came... He came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I th sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me. But it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, what I, are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Yeah, we do find you. it disgusting. No, what you're saying is why disgusting. we're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I can't am. keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. Think it's if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely, I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate. That. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone of... be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years? I just want to go back to well. the I think actually. it's very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including Lewis Capaldi, who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard, and there were nowhere near as many vile <laughs> comments at Lewis Capaldi's body. The only reason but you can't seriously... the only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel No, insecure. I don't care about his general identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to use pronouns. I don't care about that's that. That's fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's well, wrong, okay. but that's totally Well, you just told me I had to. No, I think you should, but if you don't want to... So I don't have decision. to. Piers, shut up. Well, I'm not Piers. I'm the hottest man alive. <laughs> right. Okay. Thought, right, so you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer... But my point about Sam pronoun. Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view, narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He doesn't... He looks terrible. OK, so... Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne, right? Yeah. And Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically... Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. You and can't you're seriously think about this. ...about Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You can't seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it's absolutely fa fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy? Think it's inspirational. You think that's sexy? That's that is, and I, that's someone exploring... Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? <laughs> would I shag it, did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely I would have sex really? with them. Really? Thank you for well, asking. You're a braver would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them, if I'm honest with you. No, 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 I can assure you I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old-fashioned. James? So why on earth are you friends with Piers Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll notice that you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yet. I mean, that's Yet, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yet. Again, the I just wanna, is young. I want to quote the Pope again because the Pope has done this Why? documentary. Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're I'm not? All but Catholic? I think it's really well, I am a Catholic. I think so it's, what okay, you, what great. You so the Pope said that to express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not so, doing this for sexual expression. Oh, dear he's God. He's doing this just to be deliberately offensive. You're just your picking any doing it just to be deliberately offensive. Why don't you both just go back to clutching your pearls? Go back to I don't have any England. pearls. Um, Douglas, are we... Look, are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. 
Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid and it's attention grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent myself. I don't much <laughs> care for his voice. Wow. But the point is, is that, of course, he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak for all gay men, to be honest with you, Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so. no, I don't, I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA yeah. plus I, two, I think actually, two if you think this show is offensive, you should come else. to my stand-up show because compared Compared to that, what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to Christianity and Jesus. Really? So I'll well, see you at my tour. Starts tomorrow, by I the didn't, way. I, 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 I didn't know you were touring, but good luck with that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know what, James? Best of luck with the tour. Uh, you're never going to persuade me, and clearly not Douglas either, that Sam Smith is anything other than an attention seeker. Because... But this whole debate is attention seeking. Isn't being an artist about attention seeking? Well, it Isn't could that the be. Whole point? It could be, but when you're just going to that kind of length just to be deliberately slobbishly offensive, I think it's unacceptable. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately misleading. Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. It doesn't matter what once you decide is right or naked wrong. And, and semi naked. Is I, I mean, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you. Probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna, you know, when she says, stop objectifying me. What else are we supposed to do with Madonna, <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify her? You know what? You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not a cis anything. Uh, right. Uh, Honestly, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm just carrying on. I don't sorry, even what know what cis say? is. Look, it's what sorry, is what, cis. What did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was born, what did you just say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Uh, hang Listen, on, hang on. I've got to hear what, 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 what you What did you just say, James? Apparently, our skin colour is now relevant. I've got to hear that. We're white men. I've got to hear that. You've got your clicks. So you're now being viral debate. You're now being racist and you're calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on, Piers. Piers, wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it for Douglas. It says you were both... I can't remember, to be honest with you. Cis, you said, I think you said... OK, why don't you shut Cis up for white, a moment? Straight, I Doug think you straight, said... Man. Well, Douglas is straight. I think straight. you said oh, that we're not, both... I, I, I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I well, don't know how old you, you are. Shame on you for but not I was, supporting but I was, the community, I was out Douglas. As, I was... I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do judging a little bit of research. Are you joking? I would do a oh little, my God, Douglas, I that's do ridiculous. I I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't want to come so. to your show. I don't think so. You're embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're shame to the queer. You know community. what? I tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> them, I'm not a member themself. of the queer I'm working community. Here. I'm working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you, I'm not a member <laughs> of the queer community. The person who ultimately about, is genuinely community. embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, 